Well, happy Monday. God bless you. We're going to start this year off with this new thing called the Monday Morning Minute. We're just going to kind of break down some of the things that we talk about in our services at WCWC. And so the last two weeks, pastors really started to dig into the Word and to dig into some societal issues that we deal with on a regular basis that seem to so easily entrap us to really start to find truth. And I want to read uh, out of Proverbs 3, starting in verse 3 today to you. It says, Do not let mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart so that you will find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. And I, and I think that's what pastors really started to do. We started to search out truth. We're not going to let mercy and truth forsake us. So two weeks ago, he started by talking about consuming alcohol and the blessing of abstinence and how uh, these things that seem like they might be okay or maybe are, aren't so black and white, but how they could really separate us from the blessing of the Lord and what he really wants for our lives. And this last week, he talked about gambling and, and, and luck and chance versus the blessing of fully trusting in the Lord. And so we talked about uh, these gods of luck and chance. And when we gamble and when we roll the dice, we really take our trust uh, fully away from the Lord and put it in the hands of some other God, really. And so I want to challenge you this week. And it doesn't always feel good and it rubs us sometimes and we don't like to do it sometimes. But if we really want to grow and know what the Lord has for us and really receive all the blessings that he has for us in our Christian walk, then there's times where we have to ask ourselves, are we allowing uh, things, whether they're addictive behaviors or things that really are maybe just the thin edge of the wedge that separate us from, from Christ and the, and the blessings he has for us? Or we're putting our, our, our fate and, and our fortune and our, uh, our needs in the hands of anything other than what God provides for us. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide. And, and so I challenge you this week as you go through this week, to ask yourself, in what areas of my life am I doing those things? Am I allowing things to come into my life and infiltrate my life that are really starting to separate me from the Lord? Am I putting my faith and my hope and my trust in things, anything other than what God has done for me and what Christ has done on the cross? So as we continue in Proverbs 3, 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. And I pray that he does that for you this week. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Have a great week.